Hello, everyone. I am James Milan, and uh, welcome to this special presentation. Um, I am speaking to Orlando Sella, who is uh, a uh, flautist of note, but we don't even talk about that because he spends so much time uh, as, a, as an orchestra conductor uh, in and around Arlington and the surrounding areas, including, in fact, a, an orchestra that Orlando put together in, uh, based out of Lowell, Mass, um, of professional musicians from the area, um, and who will be performing here in Arlington at Town Hall on Friday, uh, October 22nd, is that right, Orlando? That's correct, that's correct. Friday at October 22nd at 6 p.m., uh, you have an opportunity uh, to come to Town Hall and see live music in the newly renovated, wonderful auditorium at Town Hall. And so we're here with Orlando to talk about the program, talk about how it came together, what we can expect, and why you, should be heading to town hall uh, on that night. So Orlando, first of all, uh, as I was saying before we, we, we began the recording, it's been too long since I got to speak to you and it's a pleasure to see you. Lovely seeing you again, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so here we are. I, I think the, the beginning of the concert is 7.30, but- um, Oh, is that right? I'm sorry. We yeah, had it, you know, I was going from the ACMI calendar, excuse me, and it, it and we, of course, because we're going to record it, we have to be there way early. And oh, so I, I got it. Yes. I was, I was misled in that way. So thanks no for the worries. clarification. Let's say 730 this coming Friday, October uh, 22nd at Town Hall here in Arlington. That's correct. Um, so tell us a little bit, please, Orlando, about uh, just how how has this come together, especially because it is a particularly special moment in terms of returning to live musical performance, uh, something that none of us have gotten to experience just about uh, in very close to two years now. That's right. So um, I've been very familiar with the Minotomy Concert Series, who are hosting this concert. Uh, for many, many years, I actually performed with them a long, long time ago with a flute ensemble I used to conduct out of the Arlington Senior Center, in fact. And um, I created an orchestra called the Lowell Chamber Orchestra in Lowell, Massachusetts, because there was a desperate need here to have really high quality professional classical music that is orchestral. So it, that need was very apparent because it had a very good talented flute student that was invited to play with the UMass Lowell Orchestra, and she was invited to play a seminal piece for flute, and she had never heard it. So I said that there, I mean, I had to fix that. Uh, classical concerts happen to be very expensive. So my mission was to provide all of these concerts free of charge for everybody to the Lowell community. And we have been now going for three years. Uh, despite the pandemic, we continued uh, live. So we are really, really happy to be able to join the Minotomy Concert Series once again in what is our second concert of the season and their opening concert. Yes, so the tell us uh, what's on the program. Um, thanks again also for clarifying that this is part of the Minotomy Concert Series and uh, they present, uh, you know, orchestras and musical ensembles such as your own uh and and others from the area uh, with a real commitment to providing again the community with an opportunity uh to listen to high uh high quality classical music um presented live so tell us about this friday's program absolutely so um i i decided to build the program around uh, the the life of this one particular man called dmitry shostakovich and we're going to play and one of his pieces, which is actually very autobiographical by his own um, saying, by his own uh, volition. So um, this piece talks a lot about his struggle uh, during his lifetime. And since we have all struggled in one way or another during the pandemic, I thought it would be a good way to end the program with that. And that piece uh, is called the Chamber Symphony Number no. 8. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, after planning on that piece, which is very powerful, I thought of other pieces that also yield a little bit of a, of a glimpse into the life of a composer through their own music. So we're going to start the program 
with a fantastic piece for strings called The Fantasia on a Theme by Thomas Tallis. And the composer is Ralph Vaughan Williams. And the reason why I chose this piece is Ralph Vaughan Williams loved the music from the Tudor period in England, from the 1500s, 1600s. So he actually takes a hymn that was written by Thomas Tallis and orchestrates it for a string orchestra. Actually, it's not one orchestra, it's actually two string orchestras. So it produces this sense of being in a monastery and hearing, chanting and praying, not only for your own chambers, but also in some distant place. Mm -hmm. And in between these two pieces, there is a flute concerto by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, which is also a very interesting way into seeing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's life, because he was actually a very difficult man to, to work with. And this is the first concerto and the only flute concerto that he really did write for flute. I mean, he was hired to write three concertos and he wrote the first one and he was done. He didn't want to do it anymore. So then for the second concerto, he transcribed one from uh, the oboe. So his patron, the person who commissioned, was already angry. So Mozart wrote two more little pieces and then he decided to take care of it. So. It's a little bit more of a comical view into how a genius composer can sometimes be, you know, difficult to get to, to work with. And who, may I ask, is going to be the featured flautist for that piece? Sure. My wife, Wei Zhao, is also in, uh, you know, playing in the orchestra, in the lower chamber orchestra often. She's going to come outside from the uh, section and she's going to step up in the front and be the featured soloist. All right, that is that sounds just wonderful, um, and I have to say um, that you know I've had the you know actually the privilege and the pleasure of attending a lot of live uh, classical music concerts over my ever longer life, uh, and uh, I have to say this unifying theme is one that I hadn't heard before. You know, has has never I've never come across before. And, and I love that. It's just because I think people, uh, we all have a tendency to separate the, the, the work the, from the artist a lot of the time and not realize that, there, that sometimes there's really a very strong uh, connection between what the artist is experiencing and the, you know, what the work reflects. Um, so, That's right. Uh, it's great to know that going in so that people can kind of tune into the music uh, with that in mind. I will be talking more about the pieces as uh, the concert progresses. So I encourage people to come in not only with the idea of listening to music, but also to be able to learn a little bit about the pieces before they're presented to them. Yes, uh, and speaking to you out there in the audience, um, you know, I, I having uh, both attended some of Orlando's concerts and also getting to see them on ACMI because they've been featured regularly for a number of years now, uh, thanks to his own production efforts. Uh, there's always an, <clears throat> an educational piece uh, to every concert um, in which Orlando does uh, present information that really kind of enhances the listening experience and deepens one's understanding of what you are listening to. It sounds like we're gonna uh, be able to uh, look forward to more of the same uh, with, this new, with this new concert. That's correct. So a little bit of learning and a, a little bit of playing, actually lots more playing this time. I promise to keep the talking to a little bit, not so much like my serious music gazing where I talk too much. <laughs> I don't know. I have not heard that complaint. Uh, for, I have not felt it myself, nor have I heard it from anybody else, but fair yeah. enough. All right. We are uh, really looking forward to it. In fact, I can say I am personally very much looking forward to being there uh, in the auditorium at Town Hall <clears throat> this coming Friday for this concert and for future concerts in the Monotomy concert series <clears throat> and future, <clears throat> excuse me, future concerts with your various ensembles. So thanks again for taking this time here today. Sorry about this. Thank you, James. Thank you. Issue. Thank you, James. Looking forward to seeing everybody on Friday, October 22nd, 7.30 p.m. 7.30, that's right. 
All right, we will see you then. And thanks again. I've been speaking to Orlando Sella, who will be uh, heading the uh, Lowell Ensemble uh, Chamber Orchestra that will be playing in the Mononymy Concert Series on Friday, October 22nd. We hope to see him there. Well, we know we'll see him there. We hope to see you there as well. I'm James Milan. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>